What a chilly Friday morning. Hi, everybody. Whoa, waiting for the final report. I know that PDX Portland at least got down to 33, and maybe it will be 32 when the final report comes out today. If so, uh, it would become the first freezing temperature out at PDX of the fall season. Meanwhile, we had the increasing cloud cover today after morning fog and freezing temps, so today played out like we thought it would. High temperatures in Portland, low 50s. Here's a beautiful sunset shot. I know, already looking at sunset shots from Willamette Valley Vineyards, part of my uh, live camera uh, network and I hope you take advantage of these live cameras. You know you're checking out what what are you going to do? Let's say you want to go to the coast. What's going on? Here's Gearheart by the sea. So that's Tillamook Head. So if you don't know, here's Gearheart. You look south. Seaside would be right in this nook. So that gives you a shot of it's dry, but a lot of clouds at the coast right now. Okay, weekend. Let me uh, pull up my seven day. Here we go. All right, no changes here. Um, expecting enough cloud cover tonight to keep most of us above freezing. But if we clear for a couple of hours, I don't expect it. But if we do, then we would see some freezing temps. So I guess that's at least a possibility. Otherwise, I expect some early cloudiness around the morning. It may not be solid. Maybe some areas of cloud cover. Then we get the sunshine. We warm up to about 54. South to east winds will become noticeably breezy all locations, 10 to 15, 20, 25 miles per hour, Saturday overnight, Sunday, and Monday. That will keep us perfectly clear on Sunday and Monday. It will keep us above freezing at night. Remember, if you have some wind, you don't get down to freezing. Um, temperatures, I still think, have a chance to get up to 60 both days. Wow. Then Tuesday, the east winds are gone, and the south wind turns to more of a southwest flow. We cloud up later in the day. We have a front Tuesday overnight and Wednesday morning. This looks to be about a tenth of an inch of rain right now. And then Thursday it looks to be a dry day, but the confidence kind of lukewarm on that. This guy right here, Friday of next week, a week from today, right now that times out to be a strong cold front where snow levels with some decent accumulating snow could fall all the way down to 3,000 feet Friday overnight into Saturday in the Cascades. Um, and we'd have a chilly weekend following that Friday, a week from tonight. So keep an eye on that. Have a great weekend. Um, again, if you, if you have something outdoors and you need to protect it, don't assume I'm right here. If we clear tonight, there could be some freezing spots. If the winds aren't as strong as I think they're going to be widespread across the region Sunday morning, we could have some freezing spots. So just keep that in mind. I will talk to you soon. Have a great weekend.